this example, we are going to calculate the crack propagation of a disc. The disc has a crack on the edge which starts at a length of 10 mm. The load is alternating on the structure. We want to find out how many cycles it takes before the crack reaches a length of 20 mm. In WinLife, we create first a new project. We are dealing with a non-welded component. The type of load we select is load spectrum. We go to the menu of SN curve to generate a crack propagation curve. The material data for this example has already been entered. First of all, we want to use the Paris equation for the crack propagation curve. Now this curve is shown. The loading generated is a load spectrum. The load is alternating with an amplitude of 5. Select 15,000 oscillations and the load spectrum is saved as a file. The graphic of the single stage spectrum is shown here. We define now the parameters for the calculation. The initial crack length is 10 mm, the end crack length 20 mm. To calculate the Y factor, we have select the case of crack growth. The number of classes we select 100 and the residuum is considered. We see now the results of the calculation and here in graphical way the crack result curve. In order to analyze this result better, we can have a look to the calculation protocol. The crack has grown to a length of 20 mm after approximately 13,000 cycles. The second column shows the length of the crack and the third column the corresponding number of cycles. This we just have seen in the crack result curve. Now the load spectrum is altered so that the number of cycles is reduced to 7000. We start the calculation and we find that after 7000 cycles the crack is about 38.6% of its target length. The next calculation we will use the erdogan radwani equation. The crack growth curve must be selected accordingly and it is shown here graphically. The load spectrum is set back to the value of 15,000 cycles. And the parameters for calculation are selected without any change and the calculation is started. 
The length of crack of 20 mm is reached here too. The protocol file shows that the end length of 20 mm is reached after 11,500 cycles. And that is a little bit earlier than according to the Paris equation. The sum cycles in the load spectrum is now changed to 7,000 7, again and the calculation is started again. After 7,000 cycles, the result, according to Erdogan and Radwani, is 41.1% of the crack length. This means that the crack has grown for 4.11 of the critical crack length. Into total, the crack length has length of 14.1 mm. The comparison to the results using the Paris equation led to a little difference. The crack length was 13.86 millimeters.